Hello, it is I, the bird. This bird and that bird, probably. Let's continue. Let's see where we continue from. I was suspecting that uh, that the continue point might be at the uh, those those uh, where the, where all the other birds hang out, but I guess we'll find out. Also, I might need to readjust my uh, follower go. Oh, yeah, I knew it! Although it could be just because I ended the game next to one. I don't know. That's, that's another... What the heck is happening? What is... Oh my gosh. Is, is this coming on the stream as well? It's flickering? Cripes. I hope that's not... Uh... Okay, you birds are really loud. All right. Now that we're away from the other birds, I can think. Hello. It is me. The orange bird. Also this orange bird. Very pretty. I like it. I like I like it. It's orange. Orange is the best color, so therefore, you know, you can only be happy with uh, the orange bird. It's pretty. I love it. I love I love pretty things. Look at that tree! Look at that, or that stump. Tree stump. Man. Alright, so... I kind of want to, like, buzz over each of these islands, take a peek for any, uh... any spirits to go and... uh... listen to. seen anything on here all right and we were told and there's also a light indicating for us to go to specifically the island with the big ass tree big ass tree that tree has got a big old big old ass look at that look at that booty on that tree that tree's got the biggest biggest ass of a tree that you've ever seen, done it? Probably, I don't know. Uh, and then the implication was that beyond the big tree, we were also going to come across some sort of archives. That might be something to do with this. What's going on here? You okay? Hello. Hello, little fox. How's it going? Oh, jeez. The old king is dead. Long live the king. Oh, wait. No! Why are you doing this? The old gods are dead. This power belongs to the god king, Kuruku, now. Alright, we've got a- we've got a new character. God King Karuku. It might just be the the void in human form, basically. Aw, are you sad about the way these people probably died? That's fair. That's fair. Can I pet you? I I, I don't have a I don't have a button prompt to pet you. That is a failure of this game. You cannot pet the the fox. All right, no, note that down as one of the failures of this game. Uh, you cannot pet the fox. Uh, how dare you provide us with a fox that we are unable to pet. That's very irresponsible. Uh, game developers, learn your lesson. Make sure that we're able to pet the fox. All right, I see some more spirits down here. What was that? Like a crack of thunder, louder than I've ever heard. It seemed to come from Own, right? Own. Isn't Own the name of the archives that we're supposed to go to? It sounds familiar, but I don't recall. I presume that that's the direction that, uh... Where's my map? Yeah, it's further east. So I presume that that's the direction we're going to want to go once we've got the, uh... I presume we'll get a... Uh... We'll get a key from this tree. 
I think... This actually looks familiar. I think I've actually done this part before. Where you have to, like... You have to fly through all these. Oh, gosh. No. More... More death by... Void... Rocks. What is happening? What? What did, what did it kill over here? Oh. oh, bunny rabbits! God... Damn it! This thing is fucking malicious. We gotta... Really gotta be able to stop it. We gotta stop this, this void shit. It's killing innocent creatures... F fucking everywhere. And that's bad. Killing is bad. And wrong. We need a new, stronger word for killing. Like, bad wrong. Or, badong. Yes. Killing is badong. I will stand for the opposite of killing. Gnadab. Alright, were we already at this one? I feel like we probably were already at this one. I think this is the one that we, uh... Stop that. Hello, you two. I am departing these lands. The priestess is safe. There's nothing more we can do. So, old friend, why, why do you linger? Yeah, we've read this. We've read this at the end of uh, last time we played, right? So. I think it's time to go to the big ass tree. The tree with the big ass that we, we, we discussed earlier. It is a. A very, very big acid tree. A tree with the biggest ass that you've ever seen. Oh, look at that. Look at this tiny little island. And then this tiny little island. Mushrooms! Heck yes! They, they're squishy. They're squishy mushrooms! The squishy mushrooms, guys. We have, we have the presence of mushrooms that am squish. I still don't know if my, uh, whoops, one button. I still don't know if my follower count is, uh, here we go. Uh, planned, totally how I planned it. Man, I sure hope birds are safe from this, this fucking void rock shit. God, I'm gonna be so upset if I come across some void rocks and they are impaling some birds. I will be like, I will be miffed. I will say I will say that much. I will be upset. My day will be ruined. <gasps> Look at these deer. Look at them. <gasps> oh, they're precious. Look at them. They're blue. I like blue. Blue's a pretty color. Blue's a very pretty color. Everyone likes blue. I know I'm not the only one that likes the bluebird. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright. Let's go to see what we're supposed to shine our light on. Hello? Here we go. Is there three of them? Alright. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to fly through all three of those now. You have to you have to find a path that's gonna take you through all three of them. Alright, so one of them's over there. I think that's like basically the third one. Alright, there's another one. So if we go here. Oh gosh. Uh, I messed up. Wow, I messed up so hard. Jeez. Alright. What? Oh, I guess I think it counted, maybe. I don't know. I thought I thought you were also timed. I guess we'll find out. See, that one was perfect. Oh. Oh.
Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Hello. I've returned. I've activated the three things by just flying through a circle. Excellent. Link, you must enter the Great Deku Tree. All right, time to fight Goma. Let's go, I'm ready for you, spider wench. I'm ready for you, you spidery wench. You, 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 it's basically a triacnid. If you've ever played triacnid, it's a pretty good game. It's by the, the Ed McMullen, who did the, uh, the, 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 the time fuck game. And uh, also he did the game uh, that everyone plays that I'm was blinking on the name of but now that i've remembered the name i'm just kind of dragging out me not saying the name of the game uh binding of isaac so triacnid i just mentioned triacnid is a beautiful game i love that game i really wish they did ever come out with a sequel or something else about the triacnid oh we're in the we're in the tree that's right yeah this 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 seems like a natural root formation. Yeah, absolutely. I want you inside me. Ugh. No, not like that. Can't believe I'm over here fucking I'm referencing freaking Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the abridged series, which has been seen by like all of 300 people in the world, least of which one of whom watches my streams. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that anyone who's watched Adam West Slapdogs, fucking Ocarina of Time abridged series. No, Adam West Slapdog himself. The, 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 the freaking, the person that did Ocarina of Time Fucking the abridged series is gonna like pop into my stream one of these days and be like, oh hey, I heard you were referencing me. I'm like, what are you talking? How would you find me? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. Uh, all right. So when I talk to this, am I cutting off? I don't think I'm. I don't think that. it might cut off a little bit. It might cut off. All right, give me a sec. Uh, we're, we're just gonna just do like that, and we'll just do like, like that. That should be fine. It, it still shows up, and also you can you can read. Yeah, that that that's not gonna block anything at this point. All right, and it's paused now. Okay, is that you, Kara? No, that can't be right. Who are you? I need to get out. Out. I am weak. It's the rock. It's not of this world. The rift. Further down in the cavern. Close it. Alright. Well, I mean, the void rock hasn't killed you. Which makes me suspicious of you. I don't know. I feel like if the void rock... The Void Rock has probably a very evil reason for keeping you alive, and I'm, I, I, I don't trust it. Hey, I trust you in as much as I trust the fact that you're being kept alive by the Void Rock stuff, which is not a good level of trust. However, I also have like nothing better to do than to, than to follow along with your with your designs here um so i guess we'll just see what happens and uh take it from there how's that sound that sounds like you know that sounds like sound logic reasoning to me and, oh okay i, I mean I, it's not like i oh god damn it i missed that one i mean it's not like i have anything better to do so why not Alright, I guess I just drop into the middle there. Seems like the only course of action to take. Oh! There we 
we go. For some reason, I can't turn into a bird because we're in a cavern of some sort. I don't know why. That has not been explained to me. I did not see the starry night above me. Ah, you're free now. Hopefully that is a good thing. Alright, dear friend. Let us see what you have to say now. Uh, don't turn out to be evil, please, and thank you. You! You did it. I feel much better already. Thank you. I was beginning to fear a fate where I would fade away. Kuroku's men took me... Uh, oh. Kuroku's men took hold of my home. They wanted the magic of this place. I fought for so long, but I am just one, and they were so many. At least I kept the most important secret. And it's the one you are looking for too, isn't it? I have what you need. Here, take the key. It was my task to protect it, and so I have. Thanks again, young one. I'll leave the rest to you now. Oh, good. You just gave me the key. I was able to just absorb it with my lantern. Excellent. He or she. I think we I think we were told earlier that the that the deer was a he. Also 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 from my simple basic, you know, non non-expert understanding of biology, um only male male deer grow antlers. Um so there is that. Thanks again, young one. He called me young one. Teehee. Excellent. We have the key. As I suspected would happen when we came in here. I'm still a little concerned because it really seemed like the, the void junk was keeping him prisoner. Um. Hello, Fox. Hello, foxy friend. How are you? Ah, my friend. What leads a bird to the east? And to visit Leafla on top of that. Oh, so she held the key all this time. She. Uh, 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 who? Use it where it belongs. Further east and a dash north. Close to my home, to be true. But answer me this. How come temples lead downwards when people look up to the sky for answers? It has eluded me for centuries, but that's fine. Humans are special creatures, to say the least. I know, right? What freaks? Get me out of here. I want to turn into a bird. Saving! Alright. You have nothing else to show or tell me, my friend? Okay. Right. To the east. Look at this, look at this bird, look at this bird shaped, this, this, this bird shaped cloud, heck yeah. I want to be inside of it. You know, I wonder how many, like, 
What are the odds that not a single cloud is covering any amount of of land? You know, what are the odds that you know you fly into one of these and you come across an island? You know what I'm saying? It gives you this whole foggy appearance when you fly through any of them. But you never know. You never know. There might just be there might just be freaking more land masses. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, this is this all has to be happening in a single day, right? That's kind of the that's kind of the uh, implication here. Runes of Own. Excellent. All right, we're in a we're in a moon place, basically. Maybe, maybe it's just any any old crescent shape. I mean, who doesn't love crescent? Cr 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 crescent, crescent. I was about to call them crescent rolls, but it's it's croissants, isn't it? It's, it's literally just croissants, right? Or or is there is there such thing as like a, a crescent roll as well as a croissant? I'm tempted. I'm tempted to 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 start looking this up, but I mean. I don't. I don't have any reason not to go look this up right now. I have. I have like n no, no, nothing driving me to to keep me on track. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if there's a difference between crescent rolls and croissant rolls. Um. Let's. I don't want to show off my whole browser necessarily. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna uh, do this. Uh, I suppose if I this might or might not show anything. Um, that's that's not what I want. Why is that? What? Why is that showing up? What would that be? What? That's not a browse. Oh, that's okay. There we go. Um. All right. I'll just have to remember to do the transition. Uh. Wait. I'm I'm a little confused. Hold on. Okay. Oh gosh, oh jeez, oh goodness, oh me, oh my, goodness gracious, what a life. Everyone's running around like they don't have a clue what they will do now that it's through. And the ending is in sight, oh my goodness me, oh my, it's late and it's time to say goodnight, oh my goodness me, oh my. Alright, uh, oh yeah, and then I don't want to have stuff, okay. Um, uh, what is this? Bandcamp? Oh, right. Yeah, I use Bandcamp sometimes to buy music. Alright. Uh, Crescent Roll. Let's, let's see if this is a thing. Alright. Alright. Crescent Roll. I've, I've got the, the search up. We'll, we'll do this. Here we are. Crescent Roll. We searched Crescent Roll. Oh, yeah! Wait. Yeah, these are just croissants, right? Pillsbury crescent rolls. Like they're 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 just okay. Let's just let's do versus croissant. Yeah, yeah. Homemade crescent rolls recipe. Taste of Lizzie T. We're often asked what the difference between crescent rolls and croissants. They're very similar, but croissant. Croissants have more of a puff pastry dough, making them extra flaky. Crescent rolls have more of a homemade roll texture. Okay. Okay. So, all right. What we've learned today. Uh, so, yeah. Crescent rolls are crescent-shaped rolls 
and they they're all kind of like one consistent piece of dough basically that if you were, if you were to try to peel it apart that that dough would basically try to stay together in one long roll whereas croissant croissant like is more of a flaky flaky dough okay well that's great well i'm i'm glad that we've taken this time to to figure out the difference between crescent rolls and croissants uh thanks for joining me on this adventure i appreciate it we will get back to the game now because that's just i i, I don't i don't know what else to do I, I, I just thought it was a fun distraction that's all i wanted to know i wanted to know the difference and hey i found out the difference crescent rolls different from croissants they're not they're not the same thing that's for that's for sure I, I i didn't think that they were the same thing but there was there was a moment there there was a moment there where i was just like i'm not sure anymore i feel like i've heard of both all right look at this bird that's a very pretty bird i like it i like it hello I don't remember this place being here. Are the lands drifting in the wind? We need to hurry if we want to reach someplace safe. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. They said we would have to go slightly north as well. Come on. Is the, is the is the temple around here somewhere? I don't see any glowing flash of light, actually. I'm not sure where the temple is. There's usually a glowing beam of light where, where you need to go next. I don't see any. But I'm also curious what's on this crescent isle. Just lots of runes, it looks like. Not much in terms of spirits to give me some more story. This looks interesting. Hello. The clans of the south are proud people. Even now, before the threat of the so-called God King Kuroku, they will not bow. Before the cities of Urza and On were built, Many of their shifters chose the deer as their spirit animal, the protector. But slowly their spirit succumbed to the sadness, and they blamed the gods for the darkness in the world. The darkness, invited into their hearts, spread further. If this is true, then so is the opposite, existence of light, and there is hope. I am Kashar of the Eastern Islands, and the first shifter in Chen in ten generations. My spirit animal chose me, and I will fight. I will travel north to the monastery to join the other priests. Alright. So, uh, what we were told by the fox is true then, that we have to go north to find the, the, the next temple, right? So why were we sent here? Hello, this island looks like it's got a lot of spirits hanging around on it. Oh dear. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that there wasn't an explosion in the center here and that they're being, you know, flying away from it. Like being flung. I think that the, that person, that person right here, you? Yeah, that one's just jumping for joy. They're happy. They're elated at whatever the heck is going on over there. This person was definitely like flung back by some sort of explosion or something though. 
There's nothing more we can do. The machine is an accident waiting to happen. We got too greedy. Hmm. Yeah, this one's this one's definitely jumping for the joy. I mean, they were on top of this rock. Like, woo! Woo, look at me! Woo! All right, so I'm supposed to head north from here. Oh, let's go ahead and take this little detour and see what we can find. Oh gosh. No, not another deer. Oh, this void has got to pay. All right, anything else to uncover here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Oh man. Man, that's like a. The, this is. This is a city that's almost intact. You would think that there would pe still be people alive here or something. Oh jeez, look at this. Oh jeez, what is this? Is this like one of those sphinxes? Oh! That doesn't look... that doesn't look friendly. That's, 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 that's not a, that's not a, that's not a friendly impaling going on there. No. No, not really. Burbs! Burbs! Burp! 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 Hello! Hello, fellow birds! I, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot perch like you can. If I, if I, if I try to approach the ground, if I try to slow down and approach the ground, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't get to perch. I just, I just turn back into ugly human. I know, I know it is disappointing. Yes. You don't have to tell me. Fuck. You're so annoying. God, maybe it's better that I do stay as human. Fuck you. God, jerks. All right. So all these people are gathered around, saying absolutely nothing, not talking amongst each other or anything. They're just standing around. The God King demands changes! Okay. By royal decree of God King Kuroku, King of Kings and God of Gods, all must bow to him, the only God. His and his alone are all the lands of the East, and the land of the gods. Bend the knee and be spared. Resist and see the last of your days. Patent pending. Such is the will of God King Kuroku, now and forever, written in the tenth year of the heroine in his great city of On. All right. I don't know, that doesn't sound like, like too, much of, too much of a demand. Alright, let's take a flight. Oh man, there's there's actually a lot going on here. Is this what is this? Wait, this looks like a some sort of contraption. I don't know. Oh my god, what have they done? Ah! Oh, this person's dead. Oh, that's that's probably what they're screaming about. I thought he was screaming about this this uh, this thing being broken apart here, but no, it's probably this person that's dead. Oh my God! They killed Kenny. Not Kenny. Oh gosh, this person's running away from the whole, the whole system. Look at this child. Look at this, this dumb child. This stupid child. Oh, and this person over here 
chi posing like they're gonna they're gonna stop this person with a sword i mean i mean it is a it is an intimidating position so it's it's fair it's worth it it's worth a try that's for sure hello fox you're not the you're not the fox friend that i talk to from time to time no you are fucking cute though i wish i could pet you i want to pet you but i cannot because this game, this game has has so many failures. Chief among them is the inability to pet the, the pet the fox. Uh, second is the uh, inability to perch as a bird. Um, you can't go into a you can't go into a straight up dive as a bird like. Like, yeah, you can dive, but you can't, you can't, like, just, like, bend your wings back completely. You keep them open. Which, actually, to be fair, is good for maneuverability. Fuck yeah. Still, you can't just, you can't just, like, close your wings and... Woo! Yeah, you don't say it. Man, I've only been exploring this one set of these runes yet. Alright, what's on this side? Yep. Hmm. Alright, there, there doesn't seem to be anything over here. Outside of this building, though, there was. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody with a sword is chasing after these two without swords. I like how cut and dry it is with uh, who's the bad guy. Uh oh, the bad guy is the one that actually has a weapon. Everyone else is good guys because they don't have weapons. They're they're just innocent civilians. Oh, okay. Nobody nobody has the nobody has the ability to defend themselves. That's a good guy. Why would they why would they be able to defend themselves? That would be that would be that would mean having weapons. See, these are both bad guys because they both have weapons. And you know that because only bad guys have weapons. Good guys good guys don't have weapons at all. Good guys can't defend themselves. Yeah, look look, look at all these look at all these three bad guys fighting amongst each other. That's why they're bad guys. They just fight each other. Duh. A duh. Clearly. See, I'm too big brain for this game. I'm able to put the pieces together. Alright, what's in this building? Besides a tree. Dude, there's like three entire things to read. Hell yeah, I love reading. Part one. Well, that's a good, good part to start on. Part one out of... Who knows how many, but, you know. Part 1. To Gorion of the Storm Islands. From his son, Tazo. Father, it is with sorrow that I must tell you the loss of Snow Crane Library. The palace guard of the city of On came in the night, carrying weapons and shouting the name of their king, Kuroku. And... And oh, oh, for fuck's sake! Why'd you only write like, like two thirds of a page, or not even you, like one third of a page? Why'd you only write one third of a page, Pia? Who are you talking to? What are you? What are you? Bitch, there's nobody there. Fuck. All right, part two. They destroyed and burned houses and scrolls alike, and would have burned us too had we not been able to escape. We watched from a safe distance, keeping close the few precious scrolls we had saved. 
Oh, what are you doing coming back here to right? I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not following. We will journey to the monastery in the northwest to place the scrolls in its safety. I trust that it's too far for... I, tr I trust that it's too far away for Kuroku's wrath and too poor to excite his greed. The spirit crane will lead us into the snow line and then return home south with my letter to you. I hope he finds you well. Okay. Bleh. What are the chances that I could, like, fly in through that little doorway, right? And then f pull up and not hit the tree that's in the in the in the building. What are the what are the chances that I could manage that? I don't think that's actually possible because I don't think I get the feeling. Oh, what's down there? I get the feeling that I wouldn't be able to get through this doorway at all. All right, let's try to slow speed. Oh shit! No, it's possible. It's possible. But man, to do that at high speed would be fucking insane, baby. That'd be fucking nuts. Wait, what's that? Was oh, that the dead deer? That's right. That's the reason we got to keep going. All right, what's what's down here? Let's let's take a break from all this spirit and stuff looking at to look at what's down here. Looks like jack shit all. Alright, there's fuck all down there. It's just a little cave to... to to get you hard, just to immediately make you soft by having absolutely nothing in it. Excellent. This fucking tower. Hmm. All right. Two bad guys going at each other with swords. Okay. Do 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 do. Boom 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 do do. What? Blah. Uh, okay. Hmm. Something about this implies that the crescent isle is significant in some way. As I got the impression by being on it that there is nothing special about it whatsoever. Oh, goodbye, dear friend. See, those were the two sword guys fighting each other. Mayor! Open the door! Are you just going to let these soldiers overrun your city? Stop cowering and come on out. This guy's this guy's knocking in uh, you know, a shave and a haircut. Two bits! Mayor! Mayor! Two bits, Mayor! You fucking jackass! Alright, meanwhile, on the inside of the Mayor's residence, uh, everything got exploded and, and destroyed. That's what happened. The end. That's the end of that saga. Good story to know. What's going on over here? I turned back into a human. I don't know why I turned from a human into a bird and then transformed immediately back into a bird. I, 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 okay, whatever. On guard! You defenseless peasants! Yeah, on guard! I'm gonna come and help my bro! I will kill you! Because we have swords and you don't. All right. 
Alright, what was going on over here? What was this? Is this something I encountered before? Uh, two bad guys fighting each other with swords. That's fine. Uh, somebody who's already dead, so who knows why their spirit has left any impression whatsoever. This is another, like, mechanical... Yeah, this one's an owl! It's Ian. No, wait. No. Uh, this one's an owl. That's interesting. So what's with these, uh... Bird-like automatons? Although I think... I don't know if they were automatons. But like... And, and, and to be fair, it may, might not just be like the bird ones, but like, like that one. Like the lion? Hey, maybe they were brought to life as well? Who knows? Who knows? Alright. Let's see, there's the crescent, which did absolutely nothing for us. We were told that we would have to head north as well, weren't we? So, north we go. Hmm. I think there's something on that island, though. I was, I was gonna just fly straight there, but yeah, this island has something on it. Hello? Sir, our scouts report that several deposits of air have been found under the temple grounds north of here. Hmm, indeed. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, I am totally listening to you. Yes. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Yes. Alright. So, we've got- we've got title drop happening. Title drop happened right over there. It's right here! The title drop! Eastern Steps. Alright. Coolio. Foxies. Is any question that the the fox shapeshifter lives in this area? All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and head on up another level here. Uh. No. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, you piece of fucking shit. God. Fuck, man. man. Fuck this void rock bullshit. The guard tower has fallen! Help me search for survivors! No, you're not gonna be able to pick up that giant fucking rock, you dumb bastard god jesus fuck okay that one maybe you can pick up yes but like i don't think anyone's gonna be under that rock For fuck's sake bunny 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 you also cannot pet the bunny this game is so disappointing at least the bunny isn't evil If only it was a celestial bunny, I would maybe try to make friends with it. It's the it's the rock from uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Excellent, good shit. Fuck yeah. 
Oh, there's there's the glowing light that we're supposed to go to. Holy heck, there's a lot of like islands to explore. Seems like. Looks like we're just getting started in this area. Holy cow. Jesus. Alright, let's go check out those smaller islands and then we'll come back to this one. This is the one with the light on it, right? So this is the one. I imagine some of this will get basically destroyed by the, the void rock once we go through. And, uh... What was it we even got from the first god? We met the we we met that one god, right? And they gave us something. I don't I don't even remember what they gave us or or did for us. What the hell did that god even do? I don't remember. I don't remember at all what the hell that god did. Fuck. Uh, let me guess, this is also nothing. No, actually, it would be the case that after we got fooled by one cave, the next cave would actually have something in it. Where did I think I went? See, now is that, is that part of Eastern Steps? That looks like it might be for further along on my, on my voyage than where I'm at right now. Yeah, no, I don't want to go all the way that way, but this, this is part of it. Oh, here we go. This is the protector that my father and his father before him asked guidance of. That was before the God King protected us. Before the God King protected us. Also, the words are above the smaller one, not the taller one. So the one that looks like they're pointing and saying anything isn't the one that's talking, it's it's the smaller one. The smaller one is talking to this person who they're holding the hand of. This is the protector that my father and his fathers before him asked guidance of. That's before the God King protected us. That was, that was my child voice. <clears throat> anyway. Because clearly, it, obviously, it was the child that was speaking, so I have to have to use the child voice. Fuck. What, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna fucking talk as a fucking adult voice when it's a fucking kid that's speaking? <laughs> Hello, dear. Thanks for letting me land on your head. It was excellent. Pack your things, sister. The rumors are true. We're leaving for the west. This priestess will give us shelter. Oh, okay. Alright, so we went that way. Let's go this way. Um, we don't want to go too far this way. As well. Because it looks like... There might be something over this way that we haven't encountered yet. We're not ready for necessarily. Why did I land on this island? Oh, 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 this is the cave. This is the cave that will have anything in it. No, oh, no, 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 never mind. No, it's not. It's not the cave that will have anything in it. Not at all. All right. Well, this island is a huge load of nothing. Let's check this one out. All right. This is the cave that will have... No, it doesn't have anything in it. Oh, 
Nothing here. Oh, this looks like something, though. Burbs! Hello, fellow burbs! Hello. I am your friend, fellow bird. I just achieved an achievement. Condor Condo. Yeah, where's where's my where's my perch? Fuck. Hello. Home of thousands. We built the shrine to stand beacon and as home to the birds of these lands, much as birds did for us in ancient days. They have been our friends since forever. They scouted the lands and settled in places of soil which could sustain us. When we still were tribes in the wilds, we traveled with the birds as they moved. We trusted them to mark the moment of change. They taught us to be nomads and shaped us to what we became. Birds are precious! Fuck yeah! Hello, fellow birds. Alright, what was that? What was that achievement I got just then? Condor. Condor Condo. Find the giant bird shrine. Well, I seem to have found it. Indeed, yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, that means that. I haven't encountered this before. So this is something new. For sure. For me. They found us! Quick! Mira! Run! Why are you telling them to look and run at the same time? Alright, well. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. You know, that looks smaller from a distance. Ow! 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 That rock. That fucking rock. That piece of shit rock. Also, thank goodness, like, the, the fucking void rocks haven't shown up here. Like, fuck. Can you imagine if this was destroyed by void rocks and there were, like, dead birds in each of the windows? Oh, I'd be so fucking mad. I would be... Ooh. Ooh. I would tell you, I would, I would, mmm, mm, I would not be happy. I would very much not be happy if all those birds were dead by the, by the void rocks. Right. I'd be like, nope, nope, bitch, bitch, you bitch. Hello, bird friends. Are you going to be assholes like the previous group? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Hmm, alright. Alright, what's going on over here? I do have the key. Let go of me! These are holy grounds, not just another power source for the taking! Hmm. Let's go! So I turn around to face the wrong direction. Yes. Sounds about right. Alright. Let's give it a good 
get a, a little aerial view of this. Well, it's just the part of it we've already seen. Of course. This must be just a overly complicated giant ass fucking elevator. That's the that's the that's why I'm, that's why I'm guessing. Oh, oh gosh, yes, this game makes me a little sleepy. I I I am enjoying it. I I I like I like the story. I like that there is just something about it that just makes me sleepy, and it's like that's not how I'm supposed to feel. I'm playing a game that I'm interested in and enjoying. I, I just I don't know what's up with that. This fire. Ominous fire. I don't know why that fire in particular is ominous, but it seems ominous. How's the Western Monument coming along? Oh. I don't know jack shit about this place. All right, I don't like. Okay, here's here's one of the problems with this game is that there's a lot of shit. There's just a lot of shit. Like there's a lot of stuff all over the place, and like there's a lot of places that you can go that you absolutely don't want to go to because it's just a complete fucking waste of time. Like you are not rewarded for for extra exploration. You're not. You're not rewarded enough. Maybe a little piece of dialogue here or there, but just, just not enough. There's, there's not enough of an incentive to like, go off the beaten path and explore this world that was crafted and is absolutely gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. It's an absolutely gorgeous world, but there's just, there's just, it, there, there's, there's a little, it's, it's a little too big for what it has to show. You know, I. Th think that's the main problem with this game but i'm not like like i'm not like a super critic or anything like, i'm not i'm not freaking yahtzee croshaw over here i'm just i'm just trying to understand like why it is that i enjoy this game but also like feel sleepy while playing it what, what like like this is is this something is this something that i can interact with or is this just a huge waste of time for me to have walked around this? I think it was a huge waste of time for me to walk around that, but I don't know. I, I can't say for sure. See, I might want to go that way and and maybe go up this ladder. See, why did I drop down instead of taking the stairs? Like what? Why? Oh, look, it turns out that if I go back, Oh yeah, it's a it's a route that just brings me right back, and I can go and look at this again, I guess. Like, but like, why? Also, can't I just do this? Look at that! Look at that! I just did that, and I could have done that the entire time, and I probably could do that here and skip most of this descent, and probably not lose anything for it. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's worth looking at all of these. The dreams of the people are, are calm again. I hope this ordeal... I hope this whole ordeal with the king is nothing more than an old man worrying about nothing. Like, I don't know, fucking... Okay. People dreaming, people not dreaming, like... That's, that's, that's something that was told to us by the previous god, right? Oh. Can't I interact with this? Normally you can interact with this. I can't interact with this one here. Why not? What's so special about this? Is it because it's like in the firelight of the ominous fires? Hello. Why did I... What the hell? I almost fell into... Fell into a void. For some reason I can't... Oh wait, that's not a void. I was about to say. Well, I, I want to see what happens. Because I can't transform into a bird, but... I guess I don't get to find out what happens. Okay, was there anything over here? 
This was probably all that there is. All right. We found a fortune. There are multiple pockets of air below. More than we had anticipated. The elevator isn't working again. Who keeps turning off the main switch? Oh. Some jackass. Yeah, see, there's no... Is this a void to drop down into? No, it's just water. I don't think that there's a way to die in this game. That's the impression I get. Hello. Oh, this we're able to use. Watch this bring us up. Watch this be a complete waste of time. Oh, okay, now we're able to go into those doors. Great. Great. So... Great. Wonderful. We can go and figure out what to do there. Why is this turning now? Is it just because... It needs to be actively turning in order for those doors to work? I don't... Alright, and then I'll need to go into those doors to unlock this door, I guess. I guess is the implication here. And then, once again, I'm going off the beaten path for probably no reason. This is probably a waste of time. This is probably just a way for me to get over here once I've gone through one of those doors, right? Like, there's going to be something that blocks me from continuing on this path. Oh, look, here's something we can activate. Great. Great, we're going to activate something before we even know what those other things that we activated do. Alright, here's... Alright, here's one of... Looks like one of three. Okay. Hey, kitty cat. Hey, how's it going? Alright, so. There's one of them. All right, and it looks like there's nothing else here. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. All right, let's go open those other two doors. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the higher one. Let's go to the higher one, and then we'll get this one on our way back down again. this and with that before we actually go in there I need to take a little bathroom break and I will be right back pretty much all right oh gosh this ambient noise is already irritating me I am very sorry that you had to listen to that for the whole time except for you probably didn't because you might be watching this on YouTube later on or something I don't know I might put this on YouTube. I don't know. I, I figure I might as well try to do uh, try to do some some streams that go on YouTube. All right, we open this door. We got to find out what's going on in here. There's just a bunch of things for us to use our thing on. Let's just go for it because I don't care. I don't care to I don't care to explore before I use these anymore. It's just. All right, so we gotta jump across some some rotating gears. That's fine. Ah, son of a bitch! Of course, it rotated the exact opposite. I, I, of course, I wasn't paying enough attention. Of course, I wasn't paying enough attention. Why would I be paying enough attention for the last jump? When all the jumps so far had been like, oh gosh, what the fuck? Oh god, what the hell was up with my momentum on that? Jesus. Yeah, no, this this game is actually like, it's built to kind of be a platformer in that you're not able to transform into a bird when you're in a, in the dungeons. So it's kind of built to be a platformer. But it just it it does not control like a platformer would, like the the way the way you move when you jump like, I I mean it's fair enough you have some momentum in the direction that you're moving when you jump, but if you're trying to like jump in a different direction than you're facing, 
They, it's it's really kind of finicky and finagly. All right, let's just use this and get on to the next part. Ah, now some of them move up and down and shit. Some of them like this one right here. Alright. Here we go. And what do you want? What are you up to? The king's men are soon here. We need to hurry. I hope the scrolls will be safe in here. I hope so as well, because I'm not going in there myself. Unless it opens up right now. Which I guess might be the case. I kind of doubt it. I think it's... Yeah. Yeah, it's just that. Okay, so now where is this going? Oh boy, lore. Didn't I go to the higher ones? I wouldn't. When the creator made the humans, the keeper of dreams came forward and stood guard. He saw the link between the great dreamer and eternity. Sometimes fear and nightmares were born into the world, and when snatched up by human thought, they turned into horrible realities. So he prepared powerful songs of time and peace, stories to lead the nightmares astray, and he trapped them in eternal scrolls and stored them away. Horrible stories never to come true, stored and forgotten in his halls of sleep. So please, go the fuck to sleep. It's like this, oh, you know, <laughs> reading that, it's like, yeah, this is basically, this game puts you to sleep. And it's like, ah, yes, here, go the fuck to sleep, bitches. <laughs> Why? All right, all right. So, so we did the ha, ha, the one that was higher up, right? So this is the, the other one. Yeah. So I was I was smart to go to that one. And it led me right out, right here. I can go to this one now, and it will be great. It'll be wonderful. All my dreams will come true when I go in here and activate this. I'm going back up. Why am I going back up? Is this where I want to be? Is this just back at the top? What's the point of this? What is this? This is different. Never mind. Imagine if I could turn into a bird and this didn't matter at the fuck all whatsoever. Feast in honor of the only god Kuroku. Forever is his reign. King of kings and soon the ruler of the known world. Gross. One and only God. Fuck that. There's multiple gods. Everyone knows that. Jeez. Oh, fuck's sake. Is this another area where there's just a, a whole bunch of nothing all around? This is. Fuck this area. Look at all this extra shit that's absolute. There's absolutely nothing here. It was a complete waste of time for me to walk around here. God, where am I supposed to go down anyway? Am I supposed to just drop down anywhere? What the fuck? No, seriously, where do they... 
they, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go down, but it doesn't have anything that, like, actually specifically, like, makes that clear, other than, I don't know, the fact that you're trapped in here, otherwise, no other way to go, Jesus Christ, I could just drop all the way down and say, fuck it, who knows, look at that, oh, what's going on here, I don't know, fuck it, let's just keep going. All right, I can't just keep going, so fuck me, I guess. I'm being harsh, but like I'm I'm definitely actually enjoying this game. Oh, I can't read that? Oh, well fuck. Should we remove these old scrolls before we start up the drill? Oh. Fuck them. They're, they're just scrolls. There's, there's only words on them. Words that people might want to read. Ugh, who likes reading? Fuck reading. Ugh. Why am I going up? What the fuck? No, wait, what? Okay, so there's, there was a staircase here. Alright. Wait, so... The fuck? Maybe I do want to go down after all. I do want to keep going down after all. I just ended up in the wrong spot? I guess. Alright, it looks like I want to get on top of that. Because that's. Yeah, and then this goes over and across and. Let's go. This looks ominous. This looks ominous as fuck. Let's go, baby. This is, this is one of those areas that I walked around aimlessly because I was like, is this something? Turns out it was just the path back. Oh, that's a big ass fucking drill. Alright. Well, we already know that we can just drop down. And here we go. And away we go! Oh look, it's an area for another one of the gods. Let me jump off the side! Oh, look at that! The one place where there's a fucking invisible wall is to prevent you from jumping off into the void. So the time has come. Finally! And this marks the time for the Keeper of Dreams to wake from this daydream and to resign. How could I protect your people from the nightmares that lurked within their dreams as you cease to believe in me? I doubt that you'll be able to overcome the shadow that lurks in your world, little human. There's a shadow in every human as well. A shadow called emptiness that can't be filled with power nor possessions. Shallow minds led way for the void to come into existence, eating everything away. The creator had to sacrifice himself to lock away the ravenous void, and the lands and skies were shattered in the great divide. Heed my word, little human. Will you be able to find the last fragment before the void does? For myself, I claim the deep sleep and leave my concerns to you. I am free.
Here, have this third of a circle. And goodbye. Peace out, bitches. Awesome. Second semicircle is ours. And the creature of void. Just fucks right off. Once again, I can't drop off, jump off into my death or anything. Excuse me. Fuck. And this? This is what the fucking void does. Well, you know, for all your Danes of of getting out of here and whatnot, you you pitiful god, you 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 know, fuck you. There, this void is causing all sorts of havoc in the world. You don't even know. You haven't seen all the dead animals that I've seen, so fuck you. I'm gonna stop this void, and you can't stop me from stopping the void. Fuck, don't. Shut up. Thanks for your assistance, I guess. All right, man. We have uh, we have a lot more of the world to explore yet. Man. Um. Let's see, I want to go back to the, um, the southwest, to the, to the island, you know? Figure out where we're supposed to go next. I figure that there's only one more, we were told three temples, but there's a lot more of this map yet to explore. Uh, I'm tempted to go to this, uh, area, kind of in the center of my map north of the giant tree, you know, northwest of the crescent isle, and west of here, and east of the, that one tower thing. I want to go to the center of this area and maybe explore around just a little bit before we head to, head back to learn more. Actually, there, not, there might not be much of anything here. Although that looks like something. Well, what are you? Are you a void rock? Just out in the middle of nowhere. That looks like what you are. There's like a whole lot of nothing here. Now this tower looks pretty ominous. Now this looks like another void rock. This tower looks incredibly ominous. Alright, let's head to it. Creator's Shrine. Hmm. I thought there was a way in back here. Your shrine is consumed by void? I might not be able to get here until later. I don't expect to be able to get here until later. Still, there was something down at the bottom, wasn't there? Maybe not. That's interesting. 
Why was I sent here? Alright, so it extends below the bottom of the world map. Alright, let's wait. This area is new. This is a new area. I'm not supposed to be here yet. Necessarily. Let's see. Alright, I don't know. Let's just, let's just head south. Further south. Now, this already looks completely unfamiliar to me. What was here? Did I check this out or not? My name is Aram, and I was there on the day of the Great Divide. My youngest child was ill, and I asked the spirit animals for help. When I prayed by the shrine of Iloqui, a terrible brightness pierced the air, and the land trembled and screamed. In terror, I took flight and watched with eagle eyes as the land broke into pieces which crumbled and turned to dust. Only one place seemed calm. I flew there and perched on it, horror struck. It was the lighthouse. Alright. Yeah, I haven't read this before, I don't think. The lighthouse was surrounded by a golden shimmer that warmed and soothed me. I saw the priestess, Kara, pass by me. Pass me by, weeping. She held a lantern key, such as they make in the city of Urza. But the lantern was dead. The shimmer came from the shimmer came from Kara herself, dwindling as I watched. She descended the lighthouse, and I saw that many spirit animals had gathered around the tower watching. When Kara came to them, they bowed their heads and then left, as if at an unspoken signal. Kara then looked at me and said, You are Era? I know you, and we need to talk. I found my voice and asked, What has happened to the world, Kara? She was silent for a moment and then said, the great danger has gone, but also the great light. It's time we gather all who are lost so that we may find a way for our people to live in peace with the world again. Ever since then, I have been flying from one broken island to another to tell the lost people that there is a new home. To lead them here, where we are, in time, may heal again. What? Oh, to lead them here where we, in time, may heal again. Or my youngest can regain her strength. Alright. Yeah, see, I missed that somehow. Is that. is Did I see that particular dead creature killed by the void? I don't know. But it still makes me sad. Alright, we gotta focus on this fuck ass void. Kick the shit out of it. That's what we gotta do. Uh, what's this one? Did I, did I read this one at least? God, I'm second guessing literally everything now. There's a dead fox. I feel like I've read this one. I feel like I had to have read this one. In the beginning there was the dreamer, asleep in cold eternity. She dreamed all there is. She dreamed a veil, and behind the veil she dreamed the creator, and the world modeled from a memory of home. The creator danced into the world, and there he breathed the clouds and sang the sun and moon into being. As he danced between the clouds, he took four steps, and so made the lands of the north, the west, the south, and the east. Then he formed the mountains and filled the seas with water from the clouds, and from earth and water he made animals so the land and sea would be alive. From stardust and eternity he made gods to walk the lands and look after the world. 
Why did I miss this area? Oh, this is part of the Creator's Shrine still. Maybe that's how I missed this area. Okay. Okay, that's fair. They have their own music? Why? <laughs> ah! That's hilarious. Oh my god. Well, thank goodness the void didn't get to those fucking crabs. Oh my gosh. Alright, we gotta... We gotta... Fuck. Uh, this is right behind the settlement, too. I'm serious. All right, we still, we still, we never did find, uh, what's her name? Aaron? I think it was Aaron. We never did find Aaron the last time we visited. Is she hanging out by her parents this time? I don't think so. Maybe she's hanging out with, uh, what's his name? But again, she, she wasn't there last time either, so I don't know why she would be this time. But, never know. Blech. I still don't see Aaron. Alright, where's the other entrance to this cave again? Oh, shit. Oh my god. Kid! You do not know how fucking lucky you are that you're not dead right now. Holy fucking shit. That is a void rock. Hi, Elk. Have you seen this? I found this rock on my expedition. All by myself. Kid! Kid! This is a void rock! This rock has killed so many animals! You are so lucky to be alive right now! Jesus! Jesus! Kid! I'm convinced it is some kind of great evil monster mastermind's mineral minion. Good, I'm glad you figured it out! I'm, I, I have kept it under close watch. Kid, you're fucking lucky to be alive! Jesus Christ, this thing is the most dangerous rock that you've ever heard of. It hasn't done anything yet, except standing there. Menacingly! But I heard Medvin say that black rocks destroyed Kara's shrine. I bet that has something to do with that split mountain up to the northeast as well. Split mountain to the northeast. Did you know that a spirit fox lives there? We went there once, me and dad. I had to wait outside, but I found a large ruin, so I had an expedition there too. Kid, you're fucking lucky to be alive. See, I am an awesome adventurer, and now you should take me and live with you. Maybe I should ask mom and dad first. If they say yes, then it's a promise. Promise? Kid! Kid, you should eat. <laughs> you kind of did promise, you know? So it's a deal now. I better get back to mom and dad soon. You don't say! Yeah. Fucking. Fucking. This fucking rock is dangerous and shit and. Oh my gosh, it's, look, look at this. This is pretty. Look at this. Look at how pretty this is. Dude, this is cool. Dude, kid, have you ever noticed how cool these rocks look? Fuck. Okay. Alright, and then on this side, it's fucking boring because like, it's not glittering off the sunlight. Why not? Alright. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, just keep a watch on it. Don't let it fucking kill you, kid. Jeez. I'd be really disappointed if you died. Fucking 
kids, they gotta be so fucking, you know, reckless and like fucking endearing and, and all this shit. And I just bumped my mic, I'm sorry about that. Alright. Medvin. 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 Do you know what that kid is doing? Are you aware of the danger that kid is in right now, Medvin? Oh, I have some information. But it raises even more questions, I'm afraid. Before the caretakers, there was another entity. The creator. Whose shrine I bet you've found already? Since the world itself is his temple, he has no temple of his own. But there is a shrine. Larger than any temple. Strange, isn't it? I found an old text from the time of the Great Divide. The lighthouse shone a brilliant beam, and a monolith as tall as ten of the tallest towers of Urza appeared in front of my eyes. In one instant, the peaceful refuge of the Land of Gods became instead sky, chaos, and piercing light. In the middle, the monolith. I knew then that it was the Creator's Shrine I gazed upon, for nothing else it could be. From it, cracks spread and the sound of a thousand thunders drenched my mind. For us, the Great Divide is the tale of Kara and the beginning of the people of the sky, and nothing more. Now I think otherwise. Kara visited the caretakers, as you have done. It said that she was given a great power when praying at the lighthouse. I believe this creature you see in your dreams is looking for this power, and for some reason it seems to be following you. I beg you, visit the last caretaker and see if you can find out even more. I will continue my search here. All right. Wait, Medvin, 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 the, the kid. If the Great Divide was the beginning of a new tale rather than the end of an old one, then how does the tale end? I think you are most likely to find out, and the caretakers hold more answers than any one of us. Okay. Well, I guess that kid will die to the Void Rock. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure the Void Rock has nothing to do with these terrible things I see whenever I, like, do anything whatsoever. Alright. Where's this last caretaker shrine? Hello, John. Do you know what your kid is doing? They're staring at a void rock, waiting for it to, like, just kill them. You found Aaron. Thank the gods! Well, I guess it's safe as long as she stays on the island, and she won't be a light way for long. Phew. Thank you, Elk. You really saved me. I really started to panic there. Where are you off to now? Why don't you search out the three caves in the Howling Peaks and see if you can find something interesting? Come back and tell me about it afterwards. Three caves in the Howling Peaks. Okay. Where's the Howling Peaks, bastard? We have been taking care of the Land of Gods for many years now, me and John, and my parents before us. But I haven't reflected on the rituals of the pilgrimage very much. Why is it that only bird shifters go through the pilgrimage? There are other shifters who are chosen by other spirit animals. There are, of course, the stories that tell of Kara. She was a bird shifter too, but it feels as if it's more than that. As with Kara's light, I feel that you were given it to shed light on something important. But you still have a part of the pilgrimage left, don't you? Let's see. There's only one temple left now, and it's located beyond the storm of the Howling Peaks, all the way up at the roof of the world in the north. It's an old monastery where the people lived, served, and learned in solitude. The sigil is located close to a small bell tower, rather than the temple itself. Take care when flying through the storm. Sometimes it's difficult to find the way, and it's raging stronger now than just a few years ago. Alright. 
sounds like a plan. God damn it. Why, what? Why did I go forward instead of upward? Come on. There we go. Uh, hold on a sec. Is there anything here now? Hmm, I need all three of the sigils. To the north! Alright. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go ahead and try to maybe explore that area that we accidentally uncovered last time. Uh, either that or no, I think we'll just we'll, we'll head we'll, we'll go ahead. We'll head there uh, Once we're there, I think I will stop for today and uh, That'll be it for today's uh, Playthrough Song Falls said I do have yet to all right there's a dead fox fuck we want to get to where there's the birds hanging out cuz that's where we respawn if we die for one thing and we'll be where we spawn presumably when we start the game again so i'd like to get one of those points so what's this say? Not all spirits persists forever. Praise to the cinnamon fingered, the dancer of the southern trees. Nevermore will she play beneath their shade. She fell into the darkness, never to laugh again with us. From star to star she skips, following the gods into eternity. Praise to the dance, ended and begun. Also sung of the voice of the grasslands, the sun roarer, the wind caller. Never again will he race through the reeds of the lakes, stirring up the swans, or hunt the horses of the wild. He now prowls in the dark between dream and wake, sing of his voice unforgotten, till the stars fade into the morning light. Literally no idea what you're talking about. Excellent. Good shit, though. Birch trees. Is snowy up here. Hmm. Oh, what's this? I'm Yohal of the Southern Isles. This is the second letter I leave behind. This message is a warning of bad tidings, the worst ever since the Great Divide. I came to the land of the gods to seek counsel for my spirit animal. Our lands continue to break apart as if an invisible tide gnawed at them. Since last spring, things have gotten worse. The snow creeps south and animals are found dead, corrupted with the dark rocks I first saw so long ago. I went to the spirit fox's den, but it was empty. I waited there for three days, but he was nowhere to be seen. Are the spirits dying as we are? If so, then all is lost. If he doesn't show up tomorrow, I will return to my people. I, for one, will not abandon them in their last days. It's time to face facts. The God King is here to stay. 
It's better to bend a knee than to lose a head. Oof. But. All right. Anything here? Oh shit! There's nothing here at this one. From once. There's almost always something at one of these. Oh geez, both of these are empty. I wonder if the writings that might have been there have been lost or something. See, this time I flew straight up. Fuck's sake. Alright. I really thought I had already come across... I think it was down here. Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's go ahead and close over this island. Oh, something right here. Oop, 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 oop. Cold has spread this far south. It's not right. Hmm. Well, there is snow on these trees. And there's the frickin' void rocks killing poor innocent sheep again! I, 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 this void, this void definitely has got to go. It's got to be taken care of. But, uh, that'll have to be next time, I think. Um, so, with that, this is where we are. This is where we'll start again. We'll have to explore the rest of this area. Um, see what's up with that symbol on my map. I, I don't even want to speculate what it is. It looks like a voodoo doll being crucified or something. I don't know. Um, off to the north somewhere. North, northwestish, something like that. We'll figure it out. Uh, but we're supposed to visit, what, three caves? I don't even know. Three caves and then the monastery. You guys... You guys are noisy. But it's, a, it's always a pleasure to be among the company of good friends. Uh, so I'm happy to, to have you guys around. So thanks for that. Thank you so much for being with me. With that... We'll go ahead, save, I guess. There's a save button here, and then exit. And we shall find out what happens next time. Hopefully I'm able to do it all in uh, one last stream, but I don't know, maybe it will be a longer stream uh, to find out, find out the last, last temple. And there, there's probably more to, like, the, the creator's temple as well. Uh, hide and seek. Find Erin when she's gone. I, I got that today along with, what is it? Knowledge for power. I completed that today. So, so I'm definitely in a part of the game that I haven't actually, I've definitely not experienced before. Um, I'm getting achievements for stumbling across different areas um yeah thank you so much to everyone who hung out with me today which doesn't seem like anyone's watching but you know you never know who who's who's lurking or anything thank you so much for for just hanging out um and then for anyone who watches the VOD, thank you so much for doing so. And anyone who watches this on YouTube and whatnot, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it very much that you would take some time and spend it with me.